Good day, everybody. This is your boy, Eric. And I've been hiding a little bit, I have to be honest, because uh, I had to trim the beard a little bit. It's getting the, uh, it's had a little summer beard because it's getting pretty hot and muggy here in Minnesota, despite what everybody thinks, it is quite cold. However, uh, it does get quite muggy in the summer with uh, humidities in the upper 90s uh, for most days. So, uh, yeah, I had to trim it a little bit, felt a little less, you know, less than manly. So I had to, uh, no, I'm kidding. I'm not really hiding. What I have been doing though, is I have been signing my, uh, El Contracto from the car tech, uh, world. And I was told that I can promote the living crap out of my bo- upcoming new book in the next year or so. And basically what I've decided to do is I'm going to write a book on how to rebuild and do performance for L80 E transmissions, which tends to be pretty popular. And they made a couple, you know, dozen million of these things. So uh, that's what I've been up to. I've been kind of working on that a little bit. Uh, I finished that table that you saw, but this came across my feed and I just thought it was the coolest flipping thing I have seen in quite a while. And I wanted to share it with you. And uh, if you remember those old ads uh, about pirating way back in the day, which I just thought were hilarious, that uh, (laughs) you wouldn't download a car, would you? So why steal music? And my initial thought was, I wouldn't steal a car, because that was the thing. Like, you wouldn't steal a car and, and, you know, that sort of thing. But I do remember thinking, but if I can make an exact copy of it, and it wouldn't hurt the original owner of the car, yeah, I probably would (laughs) replicate a car. And that's exactly what this guy is doing right here. He is replicating this uh, Lamborghini Aventador. And I kind of wanted to share the story with you, because I thought it was so cool. I'm going to put a link in the description so you can check this stuff out. He's got some videos that go with it. But, uh, you know, it's pretty darn impressive. Okay, so he did this with a a couple 3D printers and just kind of uh, starting uh, to kind of make panels one by one. Okay. So uh, I got a, a short little video here. Uh, I'll I'll mute it. Uh, he's he has an American accent, but basically he talks about uh, how he bonds all the panels together, carbon fiber bonding together, that sort of thing. Very very cool stuff. Uh, I've watched the video. It's pretty interesting. Uh, again, I will link in the description because giving credit where credit due is is important. Uh, but I just thought this was. This was super cool, and he, he, he bonds all the pieces together with some uh, carbon fiber and then some uh, resin over the top of it. Pretty standard kind of backing uh, to uh, reinforce uh, the, the panels that he's made. Again, very cool stuff. I'll put a link in the description. Very cool. Okay, so uh, dad of the year contenders to apply, apply his smarts to build a car of his dreams. Uh, the, the term a garage built supercar reeks of fiberglass glue. Now, to be fair, I did build one of those garage built supercar replicas, even though it wasn't a replica. It wasn't based on anything. It had its own chassis, its own body panels, etc. Everything uh, about it was, you know, minus some like brake parts or, you know, stuff like that uh, were all, uh, you know, control arms were all custom made. So, um, I, I, I'm not going to take offense to it cause I get it. I understand where that, that term comes from, but, um, yeah, I don't know. This is, this is pretty cool. And I don't, and I wouldn't put a derogatory term like garage built supercar replica on this, but I think it is pretty cool. And when you look at some of the photos, this is, this is some pretty impressive work. Uh, pretty much used, uh, you know, CAD or 3d drawings to, to, to do it. And uh, as, as you can tell from the photos here, if you zoom in, it looks like he made like, you know, 12 by 12 uh, sections and then kind of glued them together with fiberglass and, and some epoxy. So um, I'm, I'm interested to see how it actually holds up uh, over time and what they're going to do as far as paint and, and, uh, and body work after that. But um, uh, let's see. Let's see. Yeah, yeah. They painstakingly wrap the parts in carbon fiber. So okay. So he's got the core, which is that plasticky 3D printing material, and then kind of covers it in Kevlar. Very cool stuff. Uh, so let's see. He's got a uh, little hey, walk around uh... video uh, here. Uh, as you can see, all the little panels. I muted it so you can't uh, so you can't hear what he's saying. But again, I'll link to the description. You check it out. Subscribe to the channel. Totally cool. Uh, but this is pretty neat. You know, and um, he says he spent about 20 grand or so, which some people have questioned because you factor in LS motor, a couple grand, uh, you factor in just the 3D stuff, you know, the plastic itself. Um, That much material is, you know, is going to be pretty expensive, even if you bought it in bulk. 
wheels, brakes, you know, steering wheel, that sort of thing. Um, this is cool. I mean, this is probably one of the coolest things I've seen in a while. And I wanted to bring it to you and I thought it was cool. So again, I will, you know, put a link in the description. Uh, is it going to perform like a Lamborghini? Probably not. It's got an LS motor in it. And uh, it's got a transmission from a 911, which is exactly how my SLC was built. Uh, you've got a, uh, you know, a transaxle that is upside down and flipped backwards. And that's basically how you get forward gears having it backwards in a Porsche transmission. So, uh, again, neat. Uh, we'll be interested to see how he finishes it off because uh, he's obviously not done. There's a lot of, you know, kind of interior stuff. Plus, you saw the huge gap in the front kind of frunk area, not the front trunk area where there's kind of no inner fenders or anything like that. So, it'll be interesting to see what he does. Um, you know, basically, he just learned all his skinning techniques on YouTube. That's awesome. Uh, so here's the here's the motor uh, sheet metal intake. I um, wonder if it's one of those eBay deals, but you know, it's kind of got that cantilevered, uh, you know, opposing uh, shock system. Those are QA ones, as you can tell. Uh, ride quality is just okay on QA ones. Uh, I've driven several uh, my, some of my own cars that have QA one shocks, and I immediately ditch them and go to. Uh, ride tech or uh, you know some other company because I, I find the ride quality to be a lot better and the tuning and adjustability a lot better but the interior looks good and it looks cool uh, he claims he you know spent 20 grand uh, I don't know I'm not 100% sure but uh, I don't know what do you think this is this is pretty neat stuff so I want to share it with you Thanks for joining me, and uh, a lot of new subscribers lately, so welcome, appreciate it, and uh, you know, hey, if you uh, like this stuff and like some of the build videos that I do, um, you know, like them, subscribe, and share if you can. So anyway, thanks a lot, guys. Check you later.